Hi everyone, welcome to our math learning this week. We are starting to learn about fractions this week, which is really exciting. And you've probably been doing fractions at home when you share um, food at home, like if you had to share a cookie between you and your brother or sister, or you and a parent, then you've already been exposed to learning about fractions at home. Today we're gonna start with, I've got, I found um, three pieces of paper that are all the same size. And so what I want to start with is when I take a piece of paper like this and I fold it like this and then I cut it on the line that I folded. This paper started out as one whole, and I can now label these as what we call halves. So why do we call these halves? This is a half. This is a half. And together, those make one whole one whole piece of paper. So now if I took that same piece of paper, it's like this, whether I hold it this way or this way, and I fold it a different way, I'm gonna fold it like this, this time. And then I'm going to cut right up my fold I want you to think about, is this still half? What makes these two pieces of paper halves? And if you said yes, you're right. So these two pieces of paper are still halves. Half. plus a half equals one whole. Now, my question to you is, what makes these halves? And the answer to that is that there are one of two pieces. So when there's two, that means that we've broken something into halves. Now, the thing about fractions that I want you to know that should be become part of your um, vocabulary when talking about fractions is this word equal and we have talked about equal quite a bit but when we talk about equal and fractions I want you to know that equal means the same or the same size when we talk about fractions so what makes these a perfect half I'm going to show you if I take two fractional parts or all the fractional parts that I've cut up and they match perfectly with each other, that means that I've created fractional parts. Okay, so in order for you to have fractional parts, all of the parts in the fraction need to be equal. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I take the same size piece of paper, that I just had, whether I hold it this way or whether I hold it this way, and I try to cut it in half and it looks like this. I'm going to fold it and then cut right on that line. There! Now I've got halves. No? These are not halves. Why are these not halves? Boys and girls, the reason that these are not halves is because the fractional parts are not the exact same size. So this is not a half. So think of it like this. If you had a cookie that was in the shape of a rectangle like this, and or if you had, let's say it's a cake, because cakes come in rectangles. 
if you had a cake that was in the shape of a rectangle like this and your brother said, let's share the cake. I get half, you get half. He's going to be cutting it into fractional parts. Now, if he said, okay, great, I've cut the cake. Here's my half, here's your half. Did you get the same amount of cake? No. So when we measure fractional parts, the parts all have to be equal, the exact same size. Okay, so today when you're cutting up your fractional parts, measure all the pieces and make sure that all of them are the exact same size. And I'm going to show you some tricks to help you doing that, okay? So I'm going to put that down for now. So what we're going to do is find two or three or four different size objects in your home. And they don't have to be flat pieces of paper. They could be paper plates. It could be pieces of paper. It could be different size notepads. It could be strips of paper. And I actually found a pipe cleaner, but maybe you'll find a piece of string or a piece of ribbon. And so I found these three different size objects that I am going to practice cutting into fractional parts. Okay, so. I'm going to take, put this over to the side a bit. So we can still see that, but okay. Perfect. So your job will be to find three different objects that you're able to cut into fractional parts and um, practice naming them. So the very first one that I'm going to do, whoops, oh, my board is not staying put today. So the very first one that I'm going to do is this it's almost a perfect square. And I am going to cut that into halves, which means there will be two parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is just decide whether I want to fold it this way or fold it this way. And it really doesn't matter. It just means that when I make halves, I need to make two equal parts. Okay, so maybe I will make a chart to help you because today I'd like you to make halves, fourths, and eighths. So you can just draw a box like this. Okay, and we want three rows. And we're going to make halves, fourths, and eighths. That eighth looks funny. Okay, so basically I'm going to start with halves and I'm going to fold it into two. And maybe what we can do is actually label how many parts there are after we fold them. So I folded it into two equal parts. I think it's two equal parts, but what I'm going to do is actually measure them. So I'm going to put one on top of the other. Make sure they're almost the exact same size. And then I can put those up here like this. So I've got my halves. And I'm going to label those half and a half. And that equals a whole all together when you put them together. And halves equals how many parts? 
there are two. Your next job is to think about fourths. So that means I need to fold one of my objects, and these are my two objects that are left, one into fourths and one into eighths. And I think what I'm going to do is fold this one into fourths. So I'm going to start by folding it into halves. So I'm going to fold it. Now, right now I've got two parts. Okay, and then I need to try and fold it into fourths. So I'm actually going to put one end down like this, one end down like this, and then if I open it, do I have four parts that I can cut? Because I don't want to cut it until I know that I've got fourths. So if you look, there is one, two, three, four. So I'm going to cut those four parts. And I'm going to measure them and see, are my fractional parts all the exact same size? Because if they're not, then somehow I got mixed up in my cutting. And if you look, they are about all the same size. Okay, so those are all cut into fourths. So I'm going to tape those up. Okay, so I've got one one fourth, two one fourth, three one fourth, one whole, four one fourths. So now I can write that how many parts are there when we talk about fourths? There are four. And last but not least, I'm going to try eighths. Okay, so I've got a long strip of paper like this. And because all of these are even numbers, we can actually start by folding them in half, and that will help us to create the eighths. Okay, so I'm going to start by folding that in half. So that's two parts, and they're both the exact same size. So I've got two parts, but I need eight, okay? So if I fold this again, one, okay, so how many parts do I have now? I have one, two, three, four, but I need eight. So I'm gonna try and fold each one of these parts in half. Okay, so I'm gonna fold that part in half. I'm going to fold this part in half. I'm going to fold this part in half because we know four is half of eight. So now when I look at my folds and if I count them all up, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I can cut those parts out. Okay, and once I've got those parts all cut out, I'm going to tape them onto my page. And just for the sake of time, boys and girls, you will tape all of yours onto your page or glue them on or whatever you have or just lay them there to take your picture. I'm going to pretend that all of my parts are taped up there and I'm going to label them that's what happened I forgot the H in there eighth this is an eighth this is an eighth and how many pieces do you have in eighths to make one whole you have eight the challenge I'm going to put out for you is when you find your three objects and you make halves, fourths, and eighths, can you make an odd number like thirds or sixths? Those are even more difficult because you can't fold in half to begin with. Okay, good luck today finding your three objects and cutting them into halves, fourths, and eighths.